the finished product. So this is what you get with the set. You get the, the activating solution, which is the liquid drops that you're going to mix in. The cream colour solution, which is a thick paste. This is in the colour black, so it is obviously quite dark. A little stick to stir it all together and a wand and um, it just looks like a mascara wand I don't actually use, I use a eyebrow brush because I just find it easier so this is the brush I use is simply a slanted eyebrow brush and I, just, I think it's obviously easier to do your eyebrows with so when you're making your solution you need to make it so that it'll suit you so if you have very thick eyebrows you'll need more solution over if you have very thin eyebrows um, it, it just all depends on you so I use about three drops and about one centimetre of this. So this is what my eyebrows look like without anything on them. They haven't been dyed for months and they're sort of a bit overgrown. Because I am trying to grow them out because this one is a lot smaller than this one, so I'm trying to get them a bit more even. Um, but it's also like when I make one, I think I look quite ill. <laughs> a tip before you start putting the actual eyebrow dyeing on, dyeing solution, yeah, is make sure you wipe off any makeup, any products, um, because that will just put a barrier between the dye and actually your eyebrow, and then you'll end up with like a patchy eyebrows or something. So take a wipe and just wipe it all off. So taking the angled eyebrow brush, I simply dip it in. So think of this as filling in your eyebrows, because that's simply what you do. You just follow the shape of your eyebrow, and you just gently go along. I just think it's really funny seeing myself with eyebrows like this because this is what my actual eyebrows used to look like uh, when I used to take a crayon to them basically. Oh yeah, the reason I do use a black uh, dye over the um, brown that they do do, they do do, um, is because it doesn't come out like black black, like it just comes out very dark brown, which is my hair colour. So I don't know, it's just easier, and I think it lasts longer the dark ones. So this is what it looks like when it's all on. Also, what I do is I stroke backwards with the um, brush just to make sure all the hairs have uh, got in. So I usually leave mine on for 30 to 40 minutes just so they get a good dye and I'll wash it off and I'll show you how I shape them so yeah that's the finished product obviously as I said at the beginning this eyebrow is a lot smaller than this one um, you can actually tell like where it's all faded that's because I've got like no hair there compared to that one um, so yeah I just fill this little bit in but that's it really like I can go out with my eyebrows Sort of done. <clears throat> so once my eyebrows have been dyed, I also just trim them all up so they look a bit more nicer. I use one of these so I just comb up the hair so that it's more easier to trim. Some little scissors. Ooh, and my eyebrow pluckers. And to start, I just start combing up all the hairs. Just to make sure. And then I just go along and trim along. I just pluck them. I really do only grow hair like underneath and like a few on top. So I don't really have to pluck much, but yeah.
shit that's all done um i'll see off a bit red but yeah i don't really have to put my eyebrows very often because as i said i don't really grow much hair there um except for like just a little bit underneath and they come through quite blonde like the rest of my eyebrows that's why i don't because my eyebrows come through naturally blonde which sucks a bit 